Welcome in to the Bat Madness Final Four video of Doom and Destruction. I'm, I'm the two Travises of Ben and Travis. Ben, how you doing? I'm great, Travis. We've got how our, are you? Our, our two great commentators who are going to disagree with us at every turn. Will, my hand, it's good to have you back, man. Well, good to be here. I thought I'd bring Blake along with me since he just no shows on us all. So looks like thought I would, yeah, I thought I'd involve him a little bit. And the <laughs> editing, producing, directing madman himself, Bryce Millison. How's it going, man? Um, in the words of Dave Ramsey, I am better than I deserve. Amen. Amen. <laughs> uh, and so, as I stated, We're like no one else, we are in the final four, and uh, we uh, have been allowing everyone to vote over at challenge.com backslash bat madness. Uh, also on twitter.com backslash Ben and Travis and our Facebook page. Facebook.com backslash Ben and Travis. You should also be able to vote in the comment section. I think I enabled that last time, but no one did it, but you can do it. Um, so you can that as the video rolls along. So our matchups for the final four is the number one overall seed, lift up thine eyelids versus number four, the, the one that everybody apparently loves, carpool karaoke. Carpool karaoke. And we've got uh, Spiritual Mayhem Lego, number 18 seed. So Cinderella of the tournament. And then we've got number three, Youth Go Potty. So those are our four combatants. Any comments to kind of start us off on, on those videos? Ben, you, you, you good with this? Well, we got... Video? Yeah, I mean, I might as well be. It's what we have, you know. I mean, this is where we are, but it's amazing to me. We've got three uh, Bryce videos in the final four. So uh, Bryce holding strong uh, and carpool karaoke, which was not so much. I don't think it predates the Bryce era. It was just one we put together on our way. Uh, well, we did some before we left and then a lot of it on our way to and in. Dallas, Texas. Yeah, so um, that, was that twenty like fourteen or fifteen? Wasn't that long ago? No, not long at all. Um, it it may have been more recent more. than that. Yeah, it was, uh, it was more a year or two before I got involved. Oh, it was okay. Maybe I mean, so. it, was, it was one or two years before I got involved. It was pretty quick. Okay. So it was it was one of the first years of Dallas, right, Travis? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't the first year, but it was one of the first. Three probably. Well, we so that's where we're at. In our first matchup, we've got the number one seed, Lift Up Thine Eyelids, who has gotten here by the way of uh, beating uh, spiritual referee camping, um, exercise video, and uh, how excited are the kids all be video, which they've not faced a, a stiff competition, which is kind of how it works when you're the number one seed. Uh, and so it faces off against Carpool Karaoke, which got here by knocking off um, the Disney, the, the Hayes kids. Uh, how excited are the kids? Um, it also beat Gossip, Spiritual Referee Gossip. And then it beat, unfortunately, Will, uh, Spiritual Referee Preacher's Ego in the last round, that, which was probably its first real competition. Uh, That's complete trash. <laughs> Hey, I tried. I, I even voted for that for you, Will. Uh, I tried, man. It's okay. My wife is still in two out of the final four, so we're still holding strong. Uh, still <laughs> holding strong here. Uh, Will hand, my hand connection here. Ben, you're gonna have the um, you're gonna have the final say on this one. So we're gonna let us the other three go and try to sway your vote. So. Okay. Will, who now, you got lift up thine eyelids, carpool karaoke. Now let me let me ask this first. Are we talking about our personal pick, what we want to win, or what we think's going to win? That, that's the question. What you think's gonna win. What we think's gonna win. All right, go ahead, Will. Uh so I've been voting wrong. I've been voting like my yeah, personal me too. every single time. Well, so, I mean you can vote on your personal 
you, you can well, use that right now. But as far as like our our official Ben and Travis vote for the video, gotcha. what you think's going to win? So, you know, I, I saw in the comments when I was in my votes that Larry's really really pulling for carpool karaoke. Like he is, <laughs> he's majorly pulling for it now. Got no issues with Larry, but I only I believe the only reason that carpool karaoke has made it is because Seven Spanish Angels by Lonnie. That's 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 the only reason. I don't think it's Justin yeah. Bieber. You don't think Justin Bieber, Larry Davenport? No, no. Yeah, I mean Justin Bieber, Seven Spanish Angels. I you know I'm going. Lonnie can take down Larry. Seven Spanish Angels definitely over Justin Bieber. Um, but. You know, as much as I love Lonnie, all those guys respect him. I just don't see any way possible that carpool karaoke gets past lift up that eyelids. Like that's just, I mean, treasure gold mine of Bryce. You know, it's just no chance in my mind. Hi, Bryce. <laughs> well, I'll tell you. Last week, um, I I think I did vote for car carpool karaoke. Um, and I, of course I feel a little biased. I mean, just a little bit, <laughs> but, uh, that was the first, again, the first project that we did. And I was so excited to get home and see how it turned out. So I'm, I'm going to go lift up the eyelids. Travis, Will, what'd you say? I said, lift up the eyelids. Just main reason my wife is in that one too. So <laughs> number one, seed. it's it's a tough one. I had somebody on Twitter today reply and go, "You might as well shut the tournament down because lift up thine eyelids," and pretty much said that we'll never beat it. It will never be outdone. Ooh. And that, I'm, gonna say, I'm, I'm gonna tough. say, I'm gonna say, Lonnie Jones, Seven Spanish Angels, and and also David Shannon, some John Denver. I mean. This is pre-president David Shannon, free Artem University. Kyle, but I can't really. I'm going to go for the upset here. I think carpool karaoke is going to take it. Yeah, um, I think uh, just like if I was a, a booger, you know, I mean, that that's what he starts off with, right? If you were a booger, I'd pick you. Um, I think uh, I think I got to, but it's not. But anyway, I, I think I got to go with the fact that carpool karaoke is going to take it. Uh, I, I think I, I, my personal vote would be lift up thine eyelids. I love lift up thine eyelids. I think it's going to be hard to beat. Um, it's hard to beat, period. But there's so many people pulling for. I think like the crowd is going to carry it. I think that's that's what's going to happen, which that's how this works anyway. So I feel like the um, the crowd's going to take it. Is this like a boomer versus millennial like showdown? <laughs> is that what we got going here? Possibly. Look, I, I voted. I, I voted against um, carpool karaoke last week, and uh, I was just totally lamb blasted on that. So I just I saw the love that the people have for it, and they're the ones making the vote. So I think it's going to be hard, but it would be a it would be a great uh, come from behind Cinderella type story for sure. Because lift up my thine eyelids would be the team I'm pulling for. All right. Well, we're going to so let. Do we have to flip a coin? Well, you you're the deciding vote. We're, we're oh, I'm the deciding vote. vote. So you you went. Well, you went with carpool karaoke, right? You think it's going to win? That's that's the not your personal vote. Who you're voting for? Right. Who you're going to win? Yeah, carpool I think karaoke. it's going to win. All right. Well, I'm out after after Ben said that. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Done. Price is done. He's left us. Oh, there he is. <laughs> well, our next matchup, and and Bryce, we're, we're going to let you because this is the battle of the Bryce. We're gonna we're gonna let you pick and be the official pick of who you think's going to win, not who you're voting for. And so, what we've got coming in is Cinderella, number eighteen seed, Spiritual Mayhem Lego, which defeated. Um, I can't get it to come up here. I think uh, Pop Idol. So it's obviously had a tough. Tough row, uh, Pop Idol, Spiritual Mayhem, Pop Idol, uh, the, one of the first Spiritual Mayhems we ever did, um, and then it defeated a Wakey Sleeper. I mean, this is Pop Idol did, uh, yeah. Uh, and then Lego beat uh, no. Spiritual Mayhem Smartphone. Lego, yeah, Spiritual Mayhem Lego has beat all those Pop Idol, 
a wakey sleeper smartphone. So Lego has earned, although it's an 18 seed, it has earned its spot in the final four. That's, that's some uh, stiff competition there. So we're going to start with Ben and he's going to try to convince you to sway his way. <laughs> who he who he's going with here so it is oh i forgot i guess i should have mentioned youth go potty right youth go potty is the three seed and it got here uh by defeating let's see here spiritual mayhem peer pressure in the first round it beat drill sergeant can mm. jesus, choosing jesus save your soul drill sergeant, Donnie Lindley. which is a show favorite it also beat uh, spiritual referee illegal touching to get here. So both of these are your more experienced, more challenged uh, of the competitors. So Ben, uh, we'll let you try to sway the, the deciding vote here. Ooh, boy, this is tough. It's hard for me uh, to pick on this one because I'm I really really like Lego. I really do. And I think it's really earned its spot here. Uh, it's a great, great video. Uh, one of my favorites. Um, but I think I got to go with Youth Go Potty here. Um, I think, you know, Will Will really shines in that video. Uh, he does a fantastic job uh, on the potty uh, in his office. Um, the Cup Slap is probably the best single event uh, in Ben and Travis video history, uh, he sends Jackson's cup across the parking lot. Um, I just, I don't, I don't think it, I, I think this is going to be the end for the Cinderella story. Comes crashing down. Will, what you got, man? Like a cup slap. Yeah. Um, have gotten a lot of love off the, the nice, uh, cup slap there. Just even better that it was a Hayes kid, uh, that it was done to, um, you know, Lindsay's in this one. I'm in this one. You know, it's kind of a family thing here. Oh, uh, Lindsay. But I'm going to tell you, my favorite thing about the Youth Go Potty was that, you know, just Ben doing infomercials. You know, I think he really, he, you know, I get to listen to him preach every week, subpar at best. You know, I tell him that every week. But when it comes to infomercials, man, he's hitting birdies. He's hitting birdies every week. It's <laughs> Eagles, like, just it's hard. It's just hard to beat the infomercial. So, uh, infomercial being plus the family, uh, I'm going Youth Go Potty. I like it. I like it. I am going to thank um, you, Will. I'm going to have to go Youth Go Potty as well. Um, you know, I think that. I think that Lego is great. I think that everybody can connect with that uh, who stepped on a Lego, which I think is <laughs> a large percentage of Americans and anybody who's seeing this video. Um, and, and I will say that tends to, the shorter videos, the quick hitters are usually a little more popular. And, and, I, and that would be one reason I would go with it because it's so quick hitting. And then of course you got Ben and the scream and that last little, giggle of the mug you know that just shows you that he's in torment uh so much so that he threw his brand new iphone 11 at the at the couch you know so that's, that's what the deal was probably a couple of times by the time we all went to go potty brus you have the deciding oh but, man so as much um as i would love to really Throw off three votes. Um, I think they're both very relatable. I have, you know, I I was a Lego kid, and I stepped on many Legos, um, and that was never fun. And I'm not looking forward to that as an adult. And when I have kids, that the same thing. <laughs> um, and but I also think if anyone's ever been on a church bus ever, um, you can they can relate very heavily to the bathroom breaks. Well, all that stuff, you know, all that, especially the ones like you guys leading the stuff and how many kids want to stop every five seconds. But um, I definitely think uh, Youth Go Potty is going to take it. So I'm with you on that one. So we have got a – I've already forgotten who won the first one. Who? who what would you say, Ben, on the first one? Uh, I said Carpool Karaoke. So we've got a Carpool Karaoke, the four seed, going against – a unanimous three seed 
<laughs> youth go potty. So the three and four seed in the finals is what we're your expert panelists are going to roll with. So America go out and prove us wrong. Uh, you know, once again, you'll be able to vote in this video if you're on Facebook, of course, and then uh, it'll play on YouTube. You can go watch the videos, watch the videos over and over again. Larry Davenport, you can watch the video over and over and over again, and that'll get it to vote. Uh, there'll be Twitter polls that you can vote on, and you can also go to challenge.com backslash bat madness and vote there. Yes. So, wow. Twitter.com backslash Ben and Travis, all one word as well. Bryce, go check out his wonderful Facebook page. Bryce Millison, cinematographer or fee. No, oh, you had it right the first time. Sweet. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, Will, you've been knocking out of the park, introducing your seniors from Highland Park. I've been enjoying those videos, getting a lot of blackmail and dirt on those kids and for future reference. So and then, as Ben is pointing out this week, we have officially <laughs> join the ministry league and so go download that app used to be adventures in ministry now known as the ministry league you know and <laughs> you can get a bunch of other goofy fun podcasts that we've got they've got serious podcasts that you actually can learn something from uh and uh you know but it's all kinds of fun go check them out uh, on facebook ministry league and uh twitter as well ministry league so I I got introduced to them, I guess, by Will, I mean, as far as, like, the app is concerned, because a lot of, of the teenagers use it for, like, a songbook, basically. You've got uh, all of the devotional songs, plus a lot of the older songs, uh, or as we call them at Highland Park, the more familiar songs um, that are in there. And um, so it's really a great app all around. It's got a lot of good stuff, ladies' uh, classes and um, stuff like this. and counseling stuff and marriage stuff so anybody really can benefit from it so go check it out you guys got anything else hey we'll see you guys for the championship round go out and vote let us know